Hello YouTube, I am Lightly Salted and welcome back to the channel. And welcome to a quick tips and tricks video on U-Boat. A few members of the community have reached out with a couple of questions about the UI and basic interface uh, using your keyboard and mouse. And I thought I'd do my best to explain a few things. So we'll run down the list just top to bottom. Uh, cycling the M key brings up your map. Hitting it again brings you back into orbit mode. Using the N key, you enable free cam mode. Now, you can use WASD to move this camera around. By holding the shift key, you can make it go faster. This will allow you to get really excellent visuals on your game. Hitting N, of course, brings you back. The plus key on your keyboard will increase your engine speed. Speed 1, 2, 3, and so on. Hitting the minus key brings us down to speed 2. Using the F1 key, with an officer selected, will bring up your first person mode. F2 will change your view to section view, like so. By using F3, we can return back to orbit mode. Using the numbered keys 1 through 5 will actually cycle your officers. Pressing 1 will bring me to my engineer, 2 to my radioman, 3 to my mechanic, and so on. This of course depends on how your officers are set up here at the bottom of your screen. Let's assume that you're in the middle of a battle using your deck gun. I can use the plus key to increase our speed. Conversely, by holding the alt key, you will actually gain access to all the upper right controls, including your depth, rudder, and map. Releasing the Alt key, of course, makes it go away. In order to change direction, activate your rudder key, and move your boat in whatever direction you desire, bearing in mind that the boat will not return to zero unless you set it back to zero. If we were to come out of first-person mode and scroll out into orbit view, in orbit mode you can choose to change direction simply by right-clicking anywhere around your ship. You can also hold it in order to change it to a very particular degree. Let's assume we were bearing down on a target. By hitting the middle mouse key off in the scroll wheel, we can increase to times one time compression. By clicking it again, we will return to normal time. If you need a moment to pause and think about what you're about to do, the spacebar will enter the almost not quite pause mechanic of the game. Hitting the spacebar again will bring you back into normal time. You can also use this in a pinch if you were accelerating time by using the middle mouse button and suddenly realized you had to change something about what's going on in your boat, you can hit the spacebar to bring you into pause time and then you can just hit the spacebar again when you've sorted out whatever it is you need to sort out to bring you back to normal speed. Pressing the U key will remove the user interface giving you ample opportunity for excellent screenshots. Hitting the U key again will return it. Blow it. Let's select Mr. Osterman here and right click to have him stand up out of his bunk. Let's assume that I want him to turn on the gyro compass and then use the pinger. I will click on the gyro compass and he will begin moving toward it. By holding the control key I can add the pinger as part of his cue. Gyro compass, pinger. All right, folks, that brings us to the end of our quick tips and tricks video on using the keyboard and other mouse commands. I've been Lightly Salted. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now.